to go over a quick trick I learned in Shotcut. I wanted to figure out how to add widescreen bars to try and help my GoPro footage look a little more cinematic. And when I went to go look for some tutorials on Shotcut, there wasn't any. So I had to kind of figure out a way to do it myself. What I did was created some presets that added some banners on the top and bottom. It wasn't the appropriate way, but it works and the footage comes out the same. In this video, how to do that. It's an actual screen recorded tutorial of how to get these presets made. I use the software called OBS to create this. If you guys want me to go into a detail on how I do that, I'd be more than happy to, to show you how I use OBS to record the screen of the computer. One thing I do want to add is that this video is pretty echoey. This is the first time I used this mic and I didn't know I was going to have that result. In the future I will get some things to aid in that echoness so it doesn't happen again, but so you're aware, this video will have some echoes. Actually went and looked at some tutorials online to see if I could effectively do that in this shortcut editor. Now I could not find anything online that would allow me to do that. I found a quick solution that actually worked really well. I'm gonna walk you guys through that today. So once you import all of this stuff and you have an active scene into your playlist, the reason why I use this one is because it's only 34 seconds long. So I'm gonna drop that down here. What we're going to do is we're going to add an additional track. All right, so come over here, add video track. We're going to add that in there. Then, once you are on your project, you're going to come up to the top, you're going to hit File, Open Other. We're going to open up a color source right here, Color. I'm not going to select a color, we're going to leave a transparent color in there. Okay, add that in. Now we're going to drag that down to this new track we created. Right, it's going to be super long. We don't need it that long, but you can come in here, key over until you find the end of your video. And you can either cut it using the S key or you can cut it right here using this clip as well. Now we're going to get rid of that. And now we are the same length on our transparent color and our video. Now, on your transparent color, what you're going to do is you're going to add a filter. All right, so we're going to add a text filter. And with that text filter, what we're going to do is we're essentially going to make a banner, okay, to where there's a banner top and bottom that's completely blacked out. You're going to come here and create a filter, right? You're going to select text because that's what we want to make. We want to make a text filter. Then, what you need to do is you need to give it a background. So you want your text to have a background, right? So if you come in here, now selecting black for some reason, just selecting black and hitting OK, doesn't seem to work. So what I've had to do is go to black background, select red or any other color, hit OK, you'll get the background you're looking for. Then go back to black, hit OK, now we're back to where we want to be. Obviously, we don't want any text like this, so we're going to change the font color to black as well. Now you have a banner, but obviously it's way too big, right? So I mean, we don't want something so massive. So what I figured out, I found out that works, is adding ones in here, okay? Now, I've done this and counted it out to find the perfect width that, that works good for what I'm dealing with, and it happens to be 31, so we'll... We're going to enter those now. I'll probably kind of fast forward through this part. So now you have the bars made as well, but we're not quite done yet. You can see in here that it's not quite the full width of the video. So what, we, what I had to do was come in here, and if you see this, like you can actually manipulate where the text is at in the video. So all I do is I make this text wider than the video is. Then I just bring it down ever so gently to the bottom of my film. So now when you look, it's in here all the way around, right? So once you get the bar width and centered where you want it on the page, 
is come over here and create this as a preset. So you can use it in the future without having to redo it. So I've already got one. So for this example, we're just gonna call this bar lower, because I already have that. So bar lower, and then we're gonna select OK. So now we're gonna make a second one for the top. We're gonna come in here and hit the plus and add a text filter. We're gonna select bar lower. That's what we just created, right? We're gonna select that. Obviously, we've already got a bar lower. Then all you do is you select that you want it to be vertically fit the top. Now it's gonna pop at the top, but it's not gonna be exactly where you want it. So pull it down and then kind of come in here and lay it in where, right where you want it to be. And I always like to click the other frame down here so that way I get rid of the borders. And you can tell the top is a little bit higher than the bottom. So I'm gonna manipulate the bottom one last time. You have to select it, it's obviously the bottom. And then I'm gonna bring this one up just a little bit, select the lower frame again, and there, it looks pretty matched. One thing to remember you wanna do, you're using a, a set a filter that's preset on this one, but this one you're not, because this is the top. So what I want you to do is save this one, and now it's going to be bar upper. Upper, lower, top, bottom, whatever is easier for you. I've already got top and bottom presets in here, so you don't want to have to duplicate it again. So now I'm going to hit OK. So now you've got those preset. We're going to start from scratch just to show you guys kind of how to do this. I'm going to remove this track. Remind you guys could actually add it directly to the film without a transparent color, but I've had issues with it getting really glitchy sometimes. But let's try it. Go to text. We're gonna add that preset that we just made right here, bar lower, right? We're gonna also add another filter, text, bar upper, right here. And now we effectively have our wide angle bars. If you feel like this is not wide enough, you can change the amount of numbers here. Basically what this is, is just a quick way of adding in these wide angle bars so that way you can get a more cinematic feel to your GoPro footage. To give you an idea of what it's like without filters, we will turn the filters off. I'm going to come up here and turn the filters off and then play it again. And that's what it's like without filters. Pause it. You can throw those filters back in. And that's what you get. All right, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, like and subscribe. Peace.